Song of Myself by Walt Whitman Read for LibriVox.org by Winston Tharp Now I will do nothing but listen To accrue what I hear into this song To let sounds contribute toward it I hear the bravures of birds Bustle of growing wheat Gossip of flames Clack of sticks cooking my meals I hear the sound I love The sound of the human voice I hear all sounds running together, combined, fused, or following. Sounds of the city and sounds out of the city, sounds of the day and night, talkative young ones to those that like them, the loud laugh of workpeople at their meals, the angry bass of disjointed friendship, the faint tones of the sick, the judge with hands tight to the desk, his pallid lips pronouncing a death sentence. The heave yo of stevedores, unlading ships by the wharves, the refrain of the anchor lifters, the ring of alarm bells, the cry of fire, the whir of swift streaking engines and hose carts with premonitory tinkles and colored lights, the steam whistle, the solid roll of the train of approaching cars, the slow march played at the head of the association, marching two and two, they go to guard some corpse, the flag tops are draped with black muslin. I hear the violin cello, tis the young man's heart's complaint. I hear the keyed cornet, it glides quickly in through my ears, it shakes mad sweet pangs through my belly and breast. I hear the chorus, it is a grand opera, ah, this indeed is music, this suits me. A tenor large and fresh as the creation fills me, the orbic flex of his mouth is pouring and filling me full. I hear the trained soprano. What work with hers is this? The orchestra whirls me wider than Uranus flies. It wrenches such ardors from me that I did not know I possessed them. It sails me. I dab with bare feet. They are licked by the indolent waves. I am cut by bitter and angry hail. I lose my breath. Steeped amid honeyed morphine, my windpipe throttled in fakes of death at length let up again to feel the puzzle of puzzles and that we call being end of poem 